It pains me to say it, but let's get cracking. 2020, new year, new me. I probably will be still totally winging it, but I don't need a t-shirt to remind me that. I've got my, oh, I've put them. It's treacherous walking through this, I tell you. All I want is a simple life where you can find a deodorant soothing scalp mask, we're all over the shop. This is a disaster. I'm gonna get the label maker out now, which is always exciting. Oh, for goodness sake. <laughs> I knew I'd do that. <laughs> Why can things never be like smooth? Hello everybody, hope you're all well. Welcome back to my channel. I'm back today with a declutter video for you. So as it's winter time now, we've just had Christmas. So many of us may have a few extra pieces in our homes and I just think this is a really good time of year to have a little bit of a restock, restock, no that's not the right word, reevaluate, declutter, get rid of anything that we're not using and yeah just clear some space ready for the springtime when we can get cracking with some spring cleaning. Let me know if you want to see a bit of cleaning as well. But for today's video it's going to be a declutter video so I'm just concentrating on a few areas in my home where I just think a few things could be got rid of and donated to the charity shops, passed on to friends or potentially sold as well. So I'm going to be starting off in the bedroom where we're going to be tackling the wardrobe. I have done a wardrobe declutter video before, maybe a couple actually. Um, I'll link any declutter organisational videos in the description box down below as well so you can click through to have a watch. So before we get into the video, if you're new here do click subscribe, I post videos every week. Hit the notification bell so you never miss a video and give this one a thumbs up if you want to see more of this kind of video if you like the declutter videos then let me know by giving a little thumbs up and let me know in the comments down below if you've got any tips for decluttering your home now I just want to say as well before we get into this I do have quite a lot of clothes as you know I love a bit of charity shopping and thrifting I also occasionally get sent some pieces and I'm partial to a sales bargain. <laughs> so you will see hauls on this channel and you will see regular declutter videos. It's just part of my lifestyle and although I do get through a fair amount of fashion, I would say a good percentage of it, more than 50% for sure, is thrifted um, or secondhand. So yes, it's already had a good home and it will be passed on to another good home once I decided to get rid of it. So we're going to start off in the bedroom with the wardrobe. I think that's the biggest thing to tackle in a declutter. Well, it is if you're anything like me. I'm not going to go for any particular technique with this one apart from just trying to get rid of as much stuff as I can. That's the vibe for this one. No methods to the madness. We're just going to see if we can part with plenty of stuff and hopefully it'll inspire you to do the same as well if you're due a declutter in your home. So grab yourself a little drink and relax and watch me do all the hard work and then you know if you're anything like me you'll probably sit and watch about 20 of these declutter videos before even starting and then you'll put the kettle on and then you'll scroll on Instagram for about half an hour and then you might watch another video and then by that time it's game over and you'll think about doing it tomorrow <laughs> but I'm not going to procrastinate any longer I'm going to get cracking with the wardrobe so let's see what we can part with in there okay let's start with some of the bulky items which is of course the coats if you saw the recent hauls you know I may have acquired a couple more recently so let's get cracking with the clothes rail where I keep all of my jackets I'll just hang my dressing gown up right let's just be ruthless this I have not worn last year so that can go. Love it, but haven't worn it. Goodbye, boohoo man. Denim jacket. Another one that I just am not picking up and wearing is this thrifted one, and it's very big and bulky. Another thrifted one that I love but just don't wear is this APC. I'm struggling to part with this. And I don't know whether it's just because of the label. This is a formal jacket that was thrifted. I may put this on a pile to evaluate with other jackets that are similar and see where we are with those. This one, again, another thrifted overcoat. I'm gonna be ruthless. I feel like it's just that tiny bit too big, even though it's oversized. So we'll say goodbye to that. This one I've had for years, but I just don't wear it. So I'm not sure whether to, I don't know. <laughs> this is hard. I think this is actually quite nice and it is leather. I'll keep this one for now. Follow me over on Instagram, Mr. Carrington. You don't see me wearing this on the grid in the next year. 
Feel free to let me know in the comments down below that it's time to say goodbye. But for now, we will keep it. I know I haven't worn it because it's dusty. <laughs> it's actually gone dusty. Right, this one is Top Man and it's very similar. It's a bit snug. But I like this one a lot. Um, hmm. I did a blog post on this coat along with this one and my brown overcoat which is downstairs and it was the, I think it's called the 30 wear challenge. That was over a year ago now and I have worn all of them quite a bit so I feel like it's okay to hang on to those. Zara overcoat, I feel like this is very formal and classic. I'm going to keep this one, this was thrifted. Um, I'm going to keep this as well just because I get a lot of compliments for it. Well, not just because of that, but I do get a lot of compliments on this coat, which was um, sent to me from Burton. So we'll hang on to that, and we'll hang on to this Club Monaco one as well. I feel like this one from Boohoo's Classic Camel, so we'll keep that. That's new, that's fine. That's pretty thinned out. Let's get rid of one more. I think we can say goodbye to this one because although I think it's quite cool, a lot of the time I end up feeling like I work in a factory when I wear it. So we'll part with that one as well. Oh, that's quite a lot already. Just gonna ignore them because I don't wanna be thinking, oh, I could put together such and such an outfit with that and that and that, and then I'll get ideas and then put them back on the rail. They are gone. This one's a maybe still. I'll put that on the edge of the rail. There's a bit of space on there now, so now we're gonna tackle the wardrobe. Now, previous years, when you've seen these declutter videos, you will see that I take everything out of the wardrobe, lay it on the bed, and then put things back. I'm not gonna do that today, because I actually think that can be quite overwhelming. So what I'm going to do today is just take things out that I want to get rid of, so that I'm not left with loads of stuff back and forth. I just think it might be quicker doing it this way, but. Feel free to do whatever technique you wish to. The whole idea is just to get rid of stuff as far as I'm concerned. So, let's start here. You've heard it all before. Honest, but I know. Uh -huh. Left these years ago. I was young and I'm old. This is a Christmas pajama top, so I'm not sure what that is actually doing in that section of the wardrobe, but we'll get rid of that. This top I don't think does me any favours, <laughs> so I'm gonna get rid. This is a white shirt from H&M, but I've just bought a brand new one of these from Zara, so I don't want a duplicate, so I'll get rid of that one. This is a distressed denim shirt from Top Man that I just don't really wear or reach for, so I think that can go. This is a thrifted shirt that I've worn loads, but haven't really been reaching for, so again, that can go. This is a jumper that I haven't been wearing much as well, so although I like it, I think it's got a bit snug on me, so we'll say goodbye to that one. And this is a top that, it's almost like sentimental because I wore this for the Blogosphere interview that I did. However, you shouldn't keep things for sentimental reasons and I've got the memories from the magazine, so I'm gonna say goodbye. This jumper from Zara I never wear, so get rid. And when I say get rid, I do mean donate. Don't be a hater, be a donator. My slipper just came off. <laughs> I do recommend that if you are doing a little declutter, make sure you're doing it in your comfy clothes. I've got my joggers on. Got the old fake Uggs from Aldi, which are excellent, by the way. Excellent value, 14 99 and they're literally just the same. I highly recommend if they come back into Aldi, you get yourself a pair. What have we got here? This is a white shirt. I feel like that's a classic. We're gonna keep that. As is that. This one I haven't been reaching for, but I think I might do in the summer, so I'm gonna hang on to that. This one's lovely fabric, but it just doesn't sit very nicely on me, so I'm gonna get rid of that. And another Zara top that is just a little bit snug on me now, so bye-bye. A thrifted pink shirt, but I've actually picked up one recently that I think fits a bit nicer, so I'm gonna say goodbye to this one. And this one by Lee Jeans, I'm not really wearing either, so that can go. These trousers, I love the color, but I don't like the waist size, <laughs> or my buffet belly doesn't like the waist size, so they can go. Grown out of them, haven't I? 
or they've shrunk. This jumper I don't really reach for, so I'm gonna get rid of that one. This is a t-shirt by Coach, which I think I was hanging on to more so for the label, but again, just because something's designer doesn't mean you need to have it cluttering up your wardrobe, so I'm gonna get rid of that. I've also found this one in the wardrobe that I'm going to get rid of, it's by Mango, but again, just not one that I'm really reaching for. And also this top as well. And, and this one as well. And this one from uh, Primark that was thrifted. I think this is the one that a viewer noticed there was a stain on the arm. I think it's this one. And I couldn't quite get it out. Is it this one? I'm not sure. I'll double check and if the stain has gone, I'll donate. Otherwise I'll send it to the recycling. Okay, we've made a good start. Have a look at all this. Wow. That is a lot. I'm really pleased with that. I'm going to get that lot all bagged up before I do anything else. I always dread this bit. Okay, we'll just whiz through this. I don't know why these green ones that I absolutely love are picking up all this. Maybe I'll wash them with something white. Still like those. Pajamas I should separate. These are all classics. Many people will say, don't buy from Primark, fast fashion. I've had these for ages, still wear them, still love them, and they haven't bobbled at all. So I'll hang on to those. These ones, Primark, skinny fit, still love those as well. Levi's, I wear constantly and will continue to do so. These ripped jeans, rips in the knees, I think I'm gonna get rid of. I feel like make some space with those. Not sure about these blue ones because they are quite tight on me. And these Uniqlo ones I have worn to death. I think I can part with those because I've got some new comfortable ones instead. These are just plain black. Wear them all the time still. Jogging bottoms. Absolutely perfect. Those were made to measure so I'll keep hold of them. Right. Let's part with these blue jeans. I feel like they don't fit very nicely and I've got another pair of blue ones. Should I feel the need? These are quite tight on me from Primark. So I think I'm gonna part with those. Still love these tartan trousers from Zara. And these ones from Boohoo. I'll probably wear those a bit more, I think. These just don't fit very nice, so I'm gonna get rid of those. They're from Top Man, They're just a bit on the baggy side. And also, I don't think these ones do me any favors anymore. They're from, I'm not sure where, but I'm gonna get rid. And then this, Top Man, I'll keep those, I think, as an option. More black Levi's. Smart black trousers I do wear still. Need to try these on, so I don't remember them. Okay, that's not bad going. Got rid of all of that. Okay, on to some t-shirts next. I feel like we're powering through. I think the best thing to do is try not to get too distracted. So wear things being a bit unsure, or maybe I need to try them on in future. I've just put them back. I'm not gonna go too thorough with this. I think it's better just to part with stuff than, you know, faff about with spending ages humming and harring. It's just, this can go, it's gonna go. That's the vibe for this declutter today. So let's go through my t-shirt drawer and see what we can get rid of. I'm gonna part with both of these because I just don't really wear them anymore. Let's get rid of totally winging it. I feel like 2020, new year, new me. I probably will be still totally winging it, but 
I don't need a t-shirt to remind me that. So <laughs> we can get rid of that one. This, I think that can go. You got a smile that makes the sun rise. You... Quite a few more on the pile now, and I'm gonna find the summer clothes under the bed and tackle those. Oh dear. <laughs> We had all this. Right, summer jackets. Oh man. Vintage denim, I'm gonna say goodbye. So we have white jeans, shorts, shirts, that shirt can go. More white jeans, more shorts, more shorts. I feel like those are a little bit short, short, they can go. I uh, don't really wear those anymore. I feel like these have had their day. Goodbye Pina Colada. Another top, a bit on the tight side now, that can go. These I've worn to death. I think I'll part with those ones. Classic shirt, I've worn this so many times that I feel like it can go to a new home now. These as well, I've got lots of the short sleeved shirts. Let's go through a few of those. That one I feel like can go. And that one. All these memories as well. Oh, it can be quite hard to part with things. But yeah, I just feel like we need to be a bit ruthless. This one is still an old favorite. I've worn that so much, but I'm gonna keep hold of that one. This one, hmm, not sure. I think that can go. I love this one, nautical, I'm gonna keep that. But this one I think can go. This pink one, I think we'll part with. This one I wore for my birthday last year and it's kind of like a pajama top, I'm gonna to say goodbye. This one as well, I feel like worn that loads and probably don't need to wear it this summer. Few more shirts. I just don't feel like that's going to be my style so much this summer, so I'll say goodbye to those. I'm going to keep the striped classic ones. I forgot how many I had. I do have a lot. <laughs> it's a colourful one. I'm just being ruthless. I'm being really, really ruthless. I just feel like I want to get rid of a lot of stuff. I might keep this jacket. I still love that jacket. Oh, wow. Oh my goodness. I feel like I've been very, very ruthless. We now have a mountain of summer clothes, Ugh. which I may have to have a little lie down on. It's got to that point in the day where I feel like we probably might need to head out, get little Greg's, get a little coffee, have a bit of time out, get some fresh air, and then maybe I'll call it a day for today. This doesn't always have to be done in one day as well. So I'm gonna bag this lot up and yeah, Little by little, we will get there. So I think what I'm gonna do after this is I might tackle the bathroom next. But for now, it is time for an emergency sausage roll. Okay, so I'm back. I've just been through everything again and just folded up really neatly. So I want to repackage it for the charity shop and put it in some different bags. And also I've made sure that all the pockets are empty of everything that I'm going to be donating. Okay, it's the next day. And so this morning, I thought we would tackle the bathroom. Now, if you're anything like me, you may have accumulated a few bits in your bathroom, especially with Christmas having just been, we may have some more gifts that we've got. And yeah, I just think annually, I mean, it should be more than annually probably, but it's a great time to be having a little, a little declutter of what's in here. I've got some storage boxes in here and they are a complete mess. They were meant to have separate things in each one and everything's everywhere. I need to get them all down and sort them all out. Let me show you what I've got in a minute. So this is the bathroom shelves, and as you can see, <laughs> it's just a complete and utter mess. Just been throwing things in willy-nilly. And along the shelves here as well, it's just all become a mess. It was meant to be just fragrances up here, and now I've got all sorts going on. Christmas gifts, bits and pieces, travel miniatures. What a mess. Down here as well, we've got more stuff in here, I need to sort through all that. We've got wash bags, We've got a wash bag on the floor. There's all stuff up here that needs sorting. It's just a 
disaster. <laughs> I made myself a coffee. I'm gonna sit on the bathroom floor. I'm gonna put some storage baskets out in front of me and I'm gonna empty them all out, go through one at a time, and then I'm gonna get the label maker out and we're gonna label those storage boxes. So hopefully I'll be able to keep things in their correct places once it's all sorted. I have found in the mornings, I'm wasting so much time looking for things. So I've got different wash bags on the go, products here, there and everywhere. And it drives me bonkers, the amount of time I'm probably wasting in the morning. So I just need to thin it all down, get it sorted and declutter anything that I'm not using or that may have gone out of date. So, it pains me to say it, but let's get cracking. You got a smile that makes the sun rise. You make it shine. But I can see that you don't realize. And that's what made me fall in love. Cause you got This thing's not really serving any purpose up there, so I'm gonna take this out of the bathroom. Might do something with this in a different room, but it's not gonna stay in here, I don't think. And this bathroom cabinet is a really lovely vintage one, but I don't think it really goes very well in here, and my sister's been after one of these. So I'm just gonna give the shelves a quick wipe down as well, because they are really dusty. Oh joy, <laughs> here we go. So I've got a bag here that I'm gonna throw in anything that potentially could be donated, I think, or I'll have a think about that. Rubbish, containers which we need to organize. Got my coffee, can you see me? I've got my coffee, oh, I've put the lamps in the wrong place. You probably can't see me. It's treacherous walking through this, I tell you. I'll be so pleased to get this sorted. I just want my mornings to be Back to being simple. A, all I want is a simple life where you can find a deodorant and not have to dig through 20,000 face masks and 30 fake tans. That would be nice. Right, let's get cracking. So what we'll start off by doing, I'll just have to empty one, I think, and we'll go through it see what is going on in here. We get rid of a lot of this packaging as well. So I've got some teeth whitening. There's only a couple left in there, so I'll use those up. Handbook, don't need that. More packaging. Oh, beard wash and beard control. I haven't tried these yet, so those. Might have to get a new bit, a new bit. A new beard. I might have to get a new box for beard stuff. Um, this I haven't been using, so I'm going to get rid of that. Right, body cream, hair products. This is a complete disaster. We've got foot lotion, hair stuff, hair and beard thickening cream. Interesting. Tan enhancer. This is a disaster. This is an actual disaster. Soothing scalp mask, we're all over the shop. I don't know what's what. Conditioner. Oh, I'm embarrassed. White spirit, I don't think we need that in the bathroom. This mitt's seen better days. Toothpaste. What's the betting? I'd go out and buy a new toothpaste and I've got toothpaste here already. Right, I've got one empty, so I think I'm going to start off with some big sized things. Let's go with shampoo, hair products, shampoo. Let's go with shampoo. I'm going to fill this one up with shampoo. So I'm just going to dig through all of these now, remaining ones. Christmas gifts as well, we've got the classic Lynx gift set here. Oh, I like that bag that it comes in. Might reuse that. <laughs> Oud wood and fresh vanilla scent. Oh, that's nice. What is going on here? Right, we've got an empty basket up here. Towels are gonna go into that for the time being. Get a chance to sort through them. And that is going to give us... Got some 
them, but they've still got the labels on. Right, that's given us another container. We have a toothbrush. I might pop that in with the cleaning supplies. Right, what should I put in this one? I'm thinking fake tan. Fake tan and body lotion. What have we got here? Wash bag. Emptied out my soul. You've heard it all before. Honest, but I know. Uh -huh. Left these years ago. I was young and I'm old. Still care for the void. Uh -huh. We don't need the past in our lives for tomorrow. Never see the end of the night for sorrow. What do we do to love? Right, what so I am going to put back the big crates these are from poundland actually and a good year or maybe two years ago i actually did a little um diy on these but all i'd done was basically add some labels which have since because it being a bathroom it got a bit like damp so i'm going to get the label maker out now which is always exciting and we will use the plastic the white plastic option for these, so they're nice and waterproof. And I'm going to label these containers. This one here, I'm gonna call that shampoo, what do I call it? Shampoo and body wash, shampoo and, what would I actually put in there? <laughs> that would be a start. I put in here shampoo, conditioner, and body lotion. I'm gonna call it, shampoo and body. just feel like I'll, I'll know what that means because we have a separate, oh uh, don't tell me the batteries have gone. We, <laughs> we have a separate, what am I trying to say? Sorry I'm still on China time and I'm struggling. <laughs> I forgot, what are, we, what are we doing? Where am I, what is my name? Oh, that's right. I didn't want to say hair because we have a separate one for hair styling. Why does this say yarn? Right, let's delete that. Shampoo. I just put a story on Instagram and I put the music by the band Shampoo. Does anybody remember them? Little throwback to the 90s. Right, I'm looking for the and sign now. Where's that? Insert symbol, okay. Let's show you how this works. You've got all the symbols in here. My favorite part. Oh, for goodness sake. <laughs> I knew I'd do that. <laughs> Why can things never be like smooth? Um, yeah, so we've got the label, so I'm gonna whack that on and we have one day I can continue filling it up. So I've got other bits all over the bathroom, so that's all gonna go in there, shampoo and body. So that is basically body lotion. We'll put the conditioner in there as well. I'm gonna be able to get the back off you. Ta da Oh, you bend it, silly me. <laughs> Let me focus you so you can see what to do. So you actually just need to fold it back and then you can peel off the back really easily. I knew that, honestly. There we go. Okay, we have some progress. I was just cracking on, I forgot to film a montage, but I'll just take you through everything that I've just done. So starting at the top, I have my things for my beard up in that one, which I don't use very often, so I've tucked them out of the way. I've got razors and clippers in there, and then I've got medical stuff in there, which I haven't really labeled up, because it's things that don't really get used much. But then day-to-day -day stuff, we have eyes for contact lenses, tan, hair, shampoo and body, skincare, travel, towels in this basket. And then I've swapped out some wooden containers for these plastic ones. And here I have uh, teeth, uh, razors and uh, shavers and cotton buds and then just some folded towels and then loose hand towels in this basket. 
I've given the shelves a quick tidy up, so all the fragrances are on the top shelf now, nice and organised. In here we have some day-to-day -day stuff, including the classic Vicks First Defence, which I swear by hand cream. Just things that I would reach for day-to-day. -day. I've left a bit of space on the shelf, which is always handy. And then I've left out some nice soaps and some hand wash, so that's ready to grab when we run out of hand wash. And then I've got a bag of packaging and things that need to be recycled here. And then that bag over there is a few products that I'll give away to friends and family or full-sized ones I'll be able to donate to a charity shop. And then here I've just got my wash bags and I've also put some products into this basket here that I just want to remember to use when I have a bath. Just things that are on hand like body lotions, face masks, the sort of things that... I need to use up, but I keep forgetting I have. So I've put them so they're ready to use. And I think I'm going to leave it there for today. The thing about decluttering is I think it's better to do it kind of little and often rather than, you know, taking on too much and it all becoming overwhelming. So I feel like I've got rid of a lot of stuff. I feel like I've definitely got a bit more organised. I can get things in and out of my wardrobe a lot better and hopefully I'll be spending less time in the mornings searching around for deodorant, hair styling products, that sort of thing because they've all been labelled up so hopefully I'll be able to find everything that I need now. So yeah, I really hope you enjoyed this declutter video. Let me know if you want more. There's plenty <laughs> of other areas in my home that probably do need a good going over. I feel like I've got dust on my nose. That's the other thing when you're decluttering. You realise the areas that you haven't cleaned in a while. So <laughs> um, a few dusty corners were exposed today, which I've given a wipe down, but it seems to be half of it's gone out my nose. So I do apologise about scratching my nose while I'm saying goodbye to you. But yeah, I really hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, do give it a thumbs up. If you're new here, click subscribe for weekly videos and don't forget to hit the notification bell so you never miss one. You can always catch me over on Instagram. My main account is Mr. Carrington, where I post stories every day. And also my home account, which is where I'll share any home inspiration, organisational stuff, bargains for the home and thrifted items as well. And that one is Mr. Carrington Home. I'll leave all the information down in the description box for you. Let me know if you've got any decluttering tips in the comments down below. I'd love to hear them. And if you are decluttering as well, then good luck. Get yourself down to Greg's when you finish or treat yourself to a little gin and tonic or whatever it is that floats your boat because you will have earned it. Trust me on that one. But yeah, I really hope you enjoyed the video. I'm off now to get on with the rest of my day. So thank you so much for watching and I'll see you soon. Bye. I'm just popping back on because I've got a bit of an update for you. I've actually put this basket up here instead, which is really good for holding the bigger electrical items. I've ended up putting like my clothes steamer in there and some bits like that. And then I've put all the medical stuff into this basket just because I thought that looked a bit nicer together that way. And I put the print that side just because it's easy access for the baskets. That's all remained the same. But then over here, I've cleared the space on this little table and I've actually bought in these drawers that were in the bedroom to um, house some stuff in here. So I've moved the basket off of there and popped it in here for things that I need to use up. And then down here we've got wash bag and smaller products in there. And then at the bottom, I managed to squeeze in all of my wash bags. And then on top, I've just popped on this thrifted tray that you may have seen before. And in it, I've got some candles. These are the Aldi kind of like diptyque dupes. And then this one that I picked up from the Anthropology sale in this really nice glass container. It'll be really nice to be able to light some candles in here when I'm having a bath. So yeah, just thought I'd update you on that. Hope you enjoyed the video and I will see you soon. What do we do to love? What do we do to love?